It kicked off the second day of the annual St. Paul's Italian Festival, featuring 10,000 meatballs, Italian-American heritage, and traditional Italian dancing. Our Mackenzie Robson reports. Sounds of hundreds of people celebrating Erie's annual Italian festival. I spoke to Chairman Ron DeVecchio about his biggest struggle with this year's event. With our trouble, we're running out of stuff. We buy what we think we need, and all of a sudden, we don't add it. Although it's not the worst problem to have, DeVecchio had the best team working aside him. This is going to be a successful festival. You know why? I got a good group. Not only was there a large crowd, but I spoke to locals about their favorite part of the festival. Today, the Italian Fest hosted traditional dancing from cities all over Italy. An Italian family that lives next to St. Paul's Church says the traditional dancing ceremony. The dancers, the kids, it's a family event. It's adult fun as well. The food's obviously tremendous. It's just a great atmosphere too, so everybody's happy. When you're walking around, it's all smiles. The deacon of St. Paul's Church, Tony Alaruzzo, talks about the fundamentals of the Italian festival. Uh, you know, the, the four Italian Fs are food, family, friends, and faith. And not necessarily in that order, but I think food comes real high on that. Mackenzie Robson, Erie News Now. And tomorrow will be the last day of the Italian festival, finishing off strong with a big spaghetti dinner.